Look who's come to sit with us today. It's Narina Palo. She's there. Oh. Oh. Narina, 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 how often I've rehearsed this moment in my dreams, usually though in the dreams. I'm a bit more like that, I suppose. But the fact that you're here at all is brilliant. That's a nice dress. Do you like gambling? <laughs> you're still a bit mental, aren't you? Uh, it's not a mental illness, dear. This is actually my job. Okay. Now, if you'll let me get on with it. Uh, that is a lovely frock. Thank because you. the hem of the frock is at war with the central design theme. <laughs> Yes, it's almost schizophrenic. In it's its a schizophrenic design. frock. Yes. And this part of the frock says, Hey, let's go crazy! Yeah! And this one's going, Hey, come on, let's have a quiet night. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see that. Do you like frocks? Uh, I don't wear frocks very often because I find them very tight across the bust. But uh, I do like to see them uh, being hurled out of my bedroom window. <laughs> um, what lovely shoes you're wearing, also. Well, thank you. You've come here dressed up all night. Well, it was your show, so I thought I'd make an effort. It's good that you made an effort yeah. because I saw. Because I see you did. Yeah. Yeah. I've put on a, some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I was completely nude. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's like I had no shame. There was. I, I, I don't want to offend you, so um, let's exclude people from watching this. But but I, they're my cock and balls. They were all out. <laughs> they, were, they were completely nude. Can I go home? Please. No, I'm afraid we've had your home all sealed over with gum. <laughs> it's all we've gummed, all the windows shut now. When you get back home, you won't recognise it. <laughs> it's just photographs of people that you've lost, like, all around the house. That's really dark. Don't worry about it. It's not really happened. I might as well have gone, oh, look, what if jelly babies come to life? What would their personality be? I'm this one. I'm that one. <laughs> just nonsense. <laughs> We're just waiting to die. <laughs> Narina. I've just met a girl named <laughs> Narina, and suddenly that sound. Right, Narina, you've got a habit of buying cat food. <laughs> Are you it. using it intravenously? Because <laughs> I reckon it'll be no, hard I to put that No, I haven't thought of that. Up. Is that something you've done? What? <laughs> Dug cat food into my veins. No, I just eat it uh, with a teaspoon, oh, like okay. everybody else. No, I've never eaten cat food. I met someone that told me they have eaten cat food out of curiosity. How, like, you know, you know what curiosity done to cats, but so why actually eat their food? <laughs> <laughs> it's mental, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's really I've weird. I've eaten Bonio. You, you would eat Bonio? I have done. Other dog foods it. are available. <laughs> so, well, have you? You've eaten some Bonio? Well, like one of them biscuits yeah. will show like a bone. Yeah. I can see why you'd like to do that. It's quite nice with milk, actually. Dip it in the milk? No, you have it like Weetabix. <laughs> yeah. Like milk? No, no, if you're poor, you can eat that. Don't judge Narina <laughs> just because she eats cat and dog food. <laughs> Come on. It's 2006, is it, that we're in now? <laughs> Whatever it is, we're allowed to do that now. So you buy cat food for cats, they're not even, but you don't even have a cat. No, I'm a bit sad. I'm that sad cat lady. You are going to become yeah, a cat lady? I am the cat lady of Brixton. You don't smell of cat wee. <laughs> As I always assume they don't, the cat I, lady I, would. No, no, they're my neighbour's cats, but they sort of, they like me. They sense that I, you know, have the propensity to be an old cat lady. Yeah, I just worry that, say your neighbours, because like, so I've got a cat. Now, if I think my neighbours are feeding him, I get a bit jealous that, that, that oh, it might cause yeah. a problem. Why my, 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 my neighbours don't talk to me anymore, then? To they don't talk to you anymore. Maybe. But you see, one of their cats was pregnant, and I'm going to have. The it's not yours, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're being careful. <laughs> Tell me you're using <laughs> precautions with that cat, Marina. <laughs> For God's sake. You know what they say about. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about male cat penises, don't you? That they're all got no tell us. No, I'm not. No, you do this far more eloquently than I would. Well, I don't, just because the subject is cat cock, it doesn't mean <laughs> that I'm naturally an expert on the topic. Go well, on, they, cats, cocks you know what? Some people pay good money for this, but they're sort of. <sighs> They've got. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit knobbly. That's, oh. that's not my words. It's Marina Palo's words. Cat cocks have got knobbly bits that hook them into the cat. So sometimes a lady cat goes, no, no. <laughs> but if lady cats will wear little short skirts, what do they expect? <laughs> I will say, I will not have my cat treated like a criminal. I really won't. <laughs> Marina, you confess that you are rubbish at car maintenance. Oh, yeah, I'm rubbish. Why? I, um, well, I got banned, you see. So I banned from driving your car? Yeah. How's this happened? 
I, I was speeding. You were speeding? Yeah. While drunk? No. Why does everyone, everyone says that? No one ever thought it was speeding. They all thought I was caught drunk driving. Because of the reason. way you carry on. You were in the corridor, neck in booze. <laughs> <laughs> she was snorting absinthe off her hand by that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was sort of neglected to understand how a car works. Except, you know, you put petrol thing in. Put Sometimes I in put it. diesel in it, yeah. Do be careful not to put so much petrol in it that the seats get wet. That is always a sign. Just keep it on the floor if you're going to fill your car with petrol. Why do you do that? I do. I fill my car right up nice with petrol and I just have to keep my eyes above it. There's all petrol fumes going in it. And then sometimes I smoke a cigarette and, uh, you know, it ultimately ruins my life. That's never happened. So, uh, right, okay, you don't know how to fix a car, but there's no reason why you shouldn't know how to fix a car because you're good at making up songs. How do you and know singing. that I don't know how to fix a car? Well, you know, I don't know if you've heard your bins a... moving late at night. <laughs> but that's me. I've got, I've, what I've done, I've been accepted into a community of foxes and, uh, <laughs> That's the hair. That's right. They've seen me as one of their own now. Also, like, I, can, I know a fox mating call. This is it. <laughs> oh, I died! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> so the fox community have, uh, have accepted me. So I've used that to spy on you. I hope that's not offensive. You'll you should get, get out more. I'm always out in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> Marina, you're getting married to a, a man, are you? You're not going to marry a man. You're not marrying a cat, are you? <laughs> I told you to be careful. What do you got one pregnant now? You got married. It's a shotgun wedding. <laughs> you're not marrying a man, no. aren't you? No. Marrying your producer. No. You're not going to marry him. Can we? Don't talk about your producer. Yeah. Did they Why? cut this bit? Well, because you want to seem available to men, so they buy your no, records. No, no, Can we... <laughs> <laughs> no. Can we skip this subject? Well, of, 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 of no, getting no, married. No, yeah. Don't yeah. talk about your marriage. No. All right, fine, then. Now, it says here you're a paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to think about little Chris. It's all right, it's a laugh. <laughs> all right. Bothered? <laughs> Narina's favorite things are red, red wine and chocolate. <laughs> but say that you had to join an army and either fight for the red wine side or the chocolate side, which <laughs> army would you join? Be the red wine. You'd be in the red wine sign because they'd be much more confident, wouldn't they? They'd be pissed. I can't eat chocolate and all the chocolate was going over there for the red top. Oh no. <laughs> But hold on, what about if the red wine side tortured their prisoners and then you found that they released videos of the red wine army weeing on members of the chocolate army? Would you not then feel a bit ashamed? No, do, you, do you think of this stuff in the middle of the night and then save it? I make it up in the As moment. As you go. Incredible gift. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> so it's paying the bills. So, uh, I've got to tell you, it's going well. It's going well. Yeah. You know, I won't pretend, I won't pretend that it's hard times. I'm not signing on anymore and I uh, can pretty much sleep with whoever I like. But you know, <laughs> there they go. So, um, but, but does it make you happy? The answer to that question is yes. So you're in this red wine army. Narina, Narina, she's got a scar on her forehead, a bit like Harry Potter. Have you? No. Let's have a look here. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Hide your scar if you wish, <laughs> but the cameras will uncover the truth. So you haven't? Yes, you have. There's one there, line that you got in Glastonbury this year. No, not this year. There wasn't a Glastonbury this year. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it was many years ago. Many years ago, you got a minute ago. You denied the scar at all. So well, now again, it's now yeah. you accept you've got one. I might have. Right. Okay. Have you got any wizard powers like Harry? <laughs> Records. You can make a record. I can do other things. Quidditch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really crap at this, aren't I? You're lovely, you're fine. Just go with it. Don't try and fight it. I have to say that every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Narina, you're a ke keen fan of the football. What <laughs> football team do you most like? I quite like Arsenal. Arsenal! Oh, yes, they're, they're very good at football. In fact, last time I was here, mm. oh, yeah, it's the I European had to Cup watch final. Yeah, Arsenal get beaten by, by Barcelona. Barcelona. Difficult, difficult time. And there was someone here who works for 
He works here. He's a Spurs fan. He's afraid. Has he gone? Have you got was, rid of him? He actually Thank was, you. He was murdered in a sex <laughs> sex attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's very embarrassing. I I just got in a bad mood. I've had a few drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> went, I went too far. But you know, those are the risks. You should have seen him. He was dressed like a right little top. Now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, do not worry that Arsenal, now they've gone to Emirates Stadium, that I sort of think of them as like the McGunners now. They've sort of lost their authenticity and like the season ticket holders are all disparate now all over the I stadium. I haven't been to the new stadium yet. Well, it looks nice. I mean, it looks nice, but so does this look nice. <laughs> I wouldn't want to play football in it. <laughs> but it looks fine. Are you, are you planning to go to the Emirates Stadium? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Would you ever do one of them things where you sing a song at the beginning? No. Like Mariah Carey? No. Or that little girl? No. Jesus fella. What? <laughs> I don't know, is that what Jesus did? I get confused between a Jesus, Pele, the, the, uh, the, who's those guys that sing? One, two, doop, 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 go ahead now. Was that Jesus? No, oh, no. <laughs> I get mixed up. That was Hanson. 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 Oh, Why do I know that? I think I've been getting up mixed up between Jesus and Hanson. <laughs> do not buy my new version of the Bible <laughs> entitled <laughs> Mbop Christianity. <laughs> Retrospectively, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> right. Narina, your favourite hobby is what exactly? Why are you sitting so suggestively when you say that? So I happen to know that it is you pickle all your feces in jars. <laughs> no, I just I'm just sitting like this because I was thinking about oh, my spine. God. It wasn't that's what's that meant to suggest? <laughs> I, I'd like some dinner and to watch an episode of the Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got any hobbies? I quite yeah. What like? Oh no, that's really sad. I like knitting. Oh, poor Narina. Just that. <laughs> knitting away. Could you say you, your alcoholism progresses because you're in that red wine army? Could you knit yourself a new liver? 